Hi Leo, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for July 2018. This month I laid out the five card rainbow tarot spread for you using the Tarot Mucha Tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Leo Sun, Leo Ascendant, and Leo Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign to gain more insight and information because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. All that being said, Leo, now on to your July 2018 Psychic Tarot reading. First card you have here, Leo, is Two of Cups. This could be fate, destined, meant to be, love relationship, uh, preordained, uh, you know, whatever word you want to use. It could also be somebody that you're related to, like a son or a daughter. Uh, you can have this kind of soulmate, Two of Cup relationship with people that's not romantic love. But usually for me, this card is indicating romantic love. There's a lot of interplay and interworkings going on in a love relationship, especially for those of you that are married or already coupled in a serious relationship. Some of you may have to do some forgiving and forgetting. Maybe you've been at odds recently with a spouse or partner or, you know, not seen eye to eye about certain things, or maybe you've been arguing or bickering. So forgiveness is going to be key here uh, for many of you. you. I'm hearing statute of limitations is up. Some of you are going to be putting together something uh, that may rectify some things that have gone wrong in your marriage or relationship, or you are trying to heal a relationship by coming together with some plan like to build a house or to put in an in-ground pool or to move somewhere or to travel the world and uh, go to different countries or take trips or start working together in some way. So it almost feels like if you've been coupled, you need to heal this relationship, but you will heal it through changing things, doing things differently or mapping out some kind of plan uh, that the two of you can get on board about and, you know, see eye to eye on. Because I feel like some of you have, had, have been at odds with partners. There's a lot to be thankful for, and for many of you Leos, coupled or maybe even singled, single, I see uh, reaping rewards of some kind of financial gain coming in. Now, some of you will see it in July. Uh, some of you may not see it till August. Some of you, as I always say in these readings, psychic predictions can go backwards and forwards. I have, I may be the predictions for you may for this July. May I may have given you those last July. So it's always good to go back and listen to July a year ago. Or these predictions could be applying to next July. But for many of you, it will be now. You have the world next, which is being in control. Uh, but or having more control, but I don't let the cards turn upside down. My guides will tell me whether it's positive or negative. So it could be lack of control or it could be you gaining more control and the universe and the planets like supporting that. You're going to be really busy. I see there's a lot of things you need to get in order and I see you doing this and you're doing that. You're like really actively busy organizing things in July. Some of you may be changing your residence or making changes to your residence. If you're not leaving your residence, you're making changes to it. You may find that you have a lot of people kind of annoying you or bothering you or putting you on the spot. These could be family members, it could be bosses, it could be clients, it could be, I don't know, but uh, maybe you have, I don't know what they're putting you on the spot about, but like, Kind of like in a position where you feel like you have to say yes or you have to make a decision of yes or no so you feel like you're on the spot. You you Because you may have some people that want you to do something for them. Like they may be like, oh, like I get manipulation coming at you from other people. Like, well, I can get Leo to do it or I'm going to say this or that and then Leo will do it. 
Um, so I do pick up some manipulation and control for some of you Leos. And I'm going to say here, I don't always hear this, but also Leo rising people this applies to, even though these readings do apply to sun, moon, and rising. Very in particular, this could be uh, speaking to Leo rising people. Also, be on your guard because I feel that there's some family members or friends or some people you affiliate with or associate with that feel like some of the things, uh, like they're entitled to help themselves to things that are yours. This could be your products, your services, your business, your ideas, your uh Whatever, like even your objects, money, I mean, really, I don't know. It's a general reading, Leo, so uh, it's hard to know exactly where uh, these people are feeling like they're entitled to things that are yours. Only you can figure that out, but it's coming up here with this world card. The next card you have in the reading is the Knight of Rods, and this is probably you. This would either be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, Sun sign, Rising sign, or Moon sign. Could be a male or a female. I feel like you're going to be like, there's too many things I have to do. I got to get out of here. Like, I feel like people are bothering you. People are trying to manipulate you. People are trying to get things from you. They may be trying to take advantage of you. You're too busy. You have to do this, 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 and this. You're either moving or redoing your house in some way. And you got other people. It's like, wow, like crazy town. I feel like you're in, uh, in a carnival, you know, like, and you're like, I got to get out of here. I feel like it is some ways, Leo, and some of you may say, this doesn't apply to me. Well, it might be coming up in the way just like in a year from now. I get that many of you Leos do not feel like your life is truly your own. Like you're divided in too many different directions. You may be doing things for these people over here, these people over here, work, you got to take care of your house, and this, and that, and that. I don't feel like your life really feels like your own the way it should right now, at least. Or coming up. You know, I also see you getting very uh, Aquarian energy, even though this is not Aquarius. It just makes me think of Aquarians where you're going to, uh, and maybe you've always done this, Leo. Maybe you have, where you're going to follow, you march to the beat of a different drummer. And you're going to be doing that even more so now than ever before. And so if you need to lose weight, you will lose weight. If you need to gain weight, you will gain weight. But I see you uh, like doing different methods, health methods, uh, metaphysical methods, uh, diet and exercise methods, anything, whatever you're, but it's got your own brand of like, well, I, I, okay, I maybe take a piece of it this way, but I'm going to put my own brand on it. Uh, but it's to do with changes of things you want to do that would improve your physical well-being. Uh, and it could have to do with health or weight or exercise, diet, that kind of thing. You know, because I see so many people aggravating you, I feel like you may need to take like a leave of absence or you're going to stop answering some people's phone calls or like be MIA for a little while. I, I just see you like hanging this sign on the door, no one home. <laughs> Go away, no one's home. You've got the uh, Wheel of Fortune next and the Wheel of Fortune is a card that symbolizes to me wow look you had three you have three major arcana cards in this reading um this is uh karmic wheels of fate turning in your favor or it can be the ups and downs of karma if you're single and you're going to put yourself out there you have romance that's ready to bloom so if you're single and you you like somehow either you're going to go on dating sites or you know, uh, go out to social activities or meetup groups with friends or something. But I get like a romantic partnership coming up. And, you know, it didn't come up like that with the two of cups. It came up more about couple people. But odd, it's coming up here with the wheel of fortune. 
some of you are going to be putting yourselves in a position of power and you're doing this through studying something. Maybe you're going back to school and getting an advanced degree or you're going to school for the first time, like after high school, you're going to college or you're going to start some kind of new career or training program. But this is going to lead to put you in a position of power. I feel this year you may very well make more money than you have in a while in the like over the course of the last seven years this year to me feels like a big money making year for you and I do feel travel is around you and I feel that when you make even when you bring in more money you're going to take some spectacular vacations and maybe you already do that Leo but it's coming up here in this reading and I feel you're going to treat some other people to these vacations you may take extended family members along or you may pay for friends or friends or other relatives that can't really afford to go you may treat them but I do pick up like some really good vacations coming up for you in the future and if you're not doing that now in this July once your money starts jumping up and increasing you will definitely be doing it be careful of letting somebody take you for a bumpy ride because if you let your guard down and let them they will do it so I see an adversary around you they could be an annoying sister an annoying relative um, or it could even be a friend um, that even if they act like they're for you they may not really be a hundred percent for you and they want to like mess with you or, or like disrupt your success or apple cart just be on the lookout I feel like many of you leaders are gonna go oh I, I know who that is because they look like a friend but the word frenemy comes to mind or it could be a jealous sibling or somebody that they're they're putting on a mask and they're not totally being honest with you they may act like you're they're your friend but they want to like disturb or disrupt what's going on for you you have the two of pentacles last and the two of pentacles to me is a card that symbolizes uh, having to make a decision or a choice between two things two places to live two loves two jobs it could be um, weighing your options sometimes this card can come up with wishy-washy thinking also I feel like some of you are weighing your options about money about having to spend more money to buy something necessary necessary to bring in more success to you and you're wondering like do I spend this money to do this or buy this whatever it is maybe it's equipment or a building you need or something uh, or a training program do I spend the money in and invest in this or I don't if it's um, I do feel it's going to be wise for you to do it to spend the money to do it some of you may have somebody that's offering you a job and you don't know whether you want to take it or not it could even be in a business or a company you work for already and a higher up could be saying to you hey Leo uh, we want you to step up and take this up higher up position and I, I feel like you may be like do I really want to do that because I'm already busy enough and that's just going to be busier so some of you may be offered something to do with making more money could be a side gig doesn't have to be from a job you already work at could be somebody that's approaching you and saying hey Leo let's uh, do some side work together and we can make some money you may be weighing like whether do I want to do this or not I feel like some of you Leos are having a little bit of a difficult time with some family members that are giving you a lot to think about and I see that you know maybe it's like they need money and you're trying to decide do I help them or not do I do it or not uh, and some of you I feel you're like if I do this then what am I going to be the endless source of money to them or am I going to constantly have to supply like you need to pay attention to your spidey sense you know like your intuition your feelings your gut your you know psyche pay attention to it because your feelings of like uh, caution about whether to do this or not are extremely valid I totally get why you would be hesitant to go down that road with them and 
uh, pay attention to your feelings on that. I feel like you will it will serve you well to pay attention. So I hope this reading helped you. I hope it made sense. I want to thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do truly appreciate that. And please be sure to subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you're interested in getting a continuation of this July reading where I look into my crystal and give you additional predictions and messages from my spirit guides for July 2018, you can access these videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link in the description area below this video called the show more section and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for July 2018 psychic crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac. You can also access these videos by going to my website www theluckymermaid.com. Click on the videos tab on my menu and it should be the first series of videos listed at the top of the page. You just click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. Also, if you're interested, I did love audio recordings on Vimeo where I used the John Holland Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracle cards and I pulled four cards for each sign of the Zodiac focusing on love and I thought they came out pretty interesting. I, the cards were pretty powerful. They were given to me as a gift by a good friend of mine. And I used them in these readings and they really uh, had a lot to say. And I thought they were very helpful. And I've gotten good feedback about them. So if you're interested in getting, this is the first uh, in my audio series that I'm going to be doing. Even though it's a video on YouTube, you're going to see the four cards for the, your sign that I picked, but you're not going to see me uh, in the camera. It's just going to, you're just going to hear me reading each of the four cards. If you're interested in getting those, you can get them by clicking on the other link below this video, and you can also get them on my website video page. It's one of the uh, video series listed, even though it's an audio recording, it's going to be on that videos page. So you just look for your sign under that heading and click on that and it will take you to that audio love reading on Vimeo. I did use, I did feel like they were going to be for June, but as I read them, some predictions were for June and July, but many of the signs they went out farther than that. And keep in mind, all predictions that I give in a time frame can be going forward a year anyway. So it might be worth your while to check them out. I, I hope you enjoy them. I want to wish you a joyous and jubilant July, Leo. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.